engine tap and as you can see it's raining again what I'm doing is stopping for my first fill and this will be the test on the system and you can see the mileage gauge here I'm just getting ready to set it back and I'll show you what the uh, I'm going to get up here. There's our gauge. Let's see if I can get a shot at the uh, pricing here. No, I can't at this side. Let's take a look at the sign. There you go, 364 gallon and nine tenths, right? So I'm going to set this back and put the gas in. There's no uh, oxygen sensor bypass on this system. And uh, we're ready to go. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, I've got a uh, tenth of a mile on there. I pulled over here, and uh, there's my odometer on the bottom, the reset odometer on the top. And we're idling right now. And you can see the meter is resting between the zero and thirty. And here's the let's see if I can get a good shot of that. There's our voltage. Regular the uh, alternator is handling it fine. You can see we're just above 12 volts. So essentially, we're ready to go. This will be our first fuel test with everything running. The reason, of course, that I'm starting now is I had a problem with the relays, which made it so that I had I never knew when the hydrogen had been running and not. So we're, we're ready to go. I'll upload this video and see what else I can show you. you can see the yellow light or the green light there. I wish I could show you how bright it was. It doesn't seem to be showing up bright. Anyway, it's on. Red lights off, green lights on, which means we have plenty of water in the hydrogen cell. Since this is uh, going to be a short video, I'm going to be showing you some of our prices. We're running at uh, 40 miles an hour, and uh, you can see there's your amperage that we're running on. Everything seems to be running fine. Actually, the amperage looks like it's going back a little bit. So far, this cell has been operating uh, very well. This is the focus cell. And it seems to have settled, it will settle around 30 amps. I am going to be running some kind of cooling system on it, but I have not had any problem with that at all so far. We're going to get a look at some of the uh, fuel prices out here, which is what's spurring me on. And I'll show you that. Stopped at a light right now, so I'll show you the voltage. There's your alternator putting out still over 12. And the uh, cell is in full operation so far. I usually operate with a the camera on a stand, but uh, obviously I can't do that here. There's your amp reader. It's actually 
There's an interesting shot. It's getting a little scary out here. But it's probably good. That's what's going to spur everybody on. 374, that is really high. This is a shot just across the street from the 374. You can see people out here aren't fooling around. 375. Okay, I'm back to the house and you can see right now the alternator is putting out a lot. It's doing really fine uh, and my foot is not on the gas at all. So we're idling here and uh, you can see we're just about in the middle between 0 and 30 on the amp gauge. All in all, everything is working fine. We're going to see what happens. And uh, there's a good view. We've gone three miles from the gas station, which uh, hurts my pocketbook a little. There's your odometer on the bottom, the reset odometer on the three. Let's hope this uh, is the start of something new. Again, this is the focus unit that I have in there. We're operating without any bypass of the O2 sensor. I've gotten a lot of email from people who say they're in the know who saying I really don't have to do that. And we're going to see just if that's a fact or not. If you want to write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com, you're welcome to do that. I try to answer all email, but also remember, I'm getting a lot, to say the least, of email. About five, maybe five an hour. And what I do is I circulate back across the uh, computer screen between my lab chores, and then I try to answer a few each time so it doesn't bog up. I think you'll find that I do get to you. And, but if I don't understand, there is a lot of email coming. The other thing you can do is go to hydrogentap.com and see the YouTube uh, video links there. I know a lot of uh, people have told me that YouTube is not putting them in order. So if you go to hydrogentap.com, I've got the links to the latest videos. Maybe that'll help. Well, you definitely can see the light on now. That's my go light. It's telling me there's enough water in the hydrogen cell. The yellow is needs more water. Cells operating very well. Again, this is the focus cell. So I guess the next step is to wait, let it come down about 200 miles, and uh, we'll see what kind of mileage we've got. 